This is the 2.4 lesson, multiplying fractions and mixed numbers. This is your practice packet on page number seven. I'm going to get started with the multiplying fractions section. Remember, you can simplify up and down and also on the diagonals. In this first one, there's nothing to simplify, so you would just multiply straight across. So you're going to get 3 over 35. For question number two, you are going to go ahead and check to see if you can simplify. 3, 10, 8, and 9, nothing to simplify. So 3 times 9 is 27. 8 times 10 is going to give you 80. In the next example, we're going to put 2 over 1, and we have 1 7th times 2 over 1. 1 times 2 is 2. 7 times 1 is 7. Looking at question number 4, again, we're going to put 5 over 1. Check to see if we can reduce, which we cannot. 5 times 2 is 10. 1 times 9 is 9. 10 ninths, we're going to leave this improper. In question number 5, looking to see if I can reduce, and I see the 5 and the 10. 5 is the common factor, goes into 5 once, goes into 10 twice. And then I can actually reduce this 6 over 2. If you didn't notice that, it'll be okay. You would just get 6 fourteenths, and then you would have to reduce. But if I simplify common factor of 2, I'm going to get 3 over 1. So 3 times 1 is 3. 1 times 7 is 7. So again, if you didn't reduce that, you would have had 6 over 14, which still reduces to 3 sevenths. Over here, common factors between 12 and 8, they're both divisible by 4. So that'll become a 2, that'll become a 3. 3 times 3 is 9, 11 times 2 is 22. In the next example, I have a triple fraction problem here, and I can reduce anything on diagonals here as well as up and down. I'm going to start with the 2 and the 8. Common factor is 2. I can also reduce this 9 and 9 with the common factor being a 9. And then looking across here, I have the 7 and 35, which has common factors of 7. 1 times 1 times 1 on the top is 1. 1 times 4 times 5 on the bottom is 20. So we get 1 20th. Again, here I'm going to be looking to reduce as much as I possibly can. 12 and 16 have common factors of 4. So that's going to give me a 3. That'll give me a 4. I notice 35 and 25 have common factors of 5. So those will change over. I see this 4 and the 4. So the 4 will become a 1 and that 4 will become a 1. And then I also see I have common factors between 7 and 21. So this is going to give me a 3, and this 7 will become a 1. And finally, I actually have a 3 and a 3 here. So the common factor is 3, so I can reduce those. 1 times 1 times 1 on the top, 5 times 1 times 1 on the bottom. In question number 9, I do have a negative. So sign analysis, a negative times a positive will give me a negative answer. So I'm going to write that and then ignore my sign. I can reduce here. I have 3 and the 15. So this goes in once, and this will go in 5 times. And I have this 5 over 5, which has common factors of 5. 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times 8 is 8. So I get negative 1 eighth. Question number 10 here is kind of hiding a little bit. Lillian, a teenager, earned 585. This should be dollars in a month babysitting for her friend's family. She spent 5 ninths of the money on a laptop. How much did the laptop cost? So we're doing 5 ninths of 585. So 585 is going to go over 1 here. And if I go ahead and look at this, um, I am going to do um, 5 ninths times this. So I am going to take 585 and any common factors here. Looking at the 9 and the 585. So I'm going to see if there's a common factor. If I can actually see if 9 goes in here. So 9 times 5 would be 54, which would leave me with 40. 5, which would actually be 9 times, I'm oh, sorry, 9 times 6 is 54. And it looks like 9 times 5 would be 45. So these actually reduce. This is 1, and this is going to turn into a 65. And then I'm going to say, okay, well, on the bottom I'm going to have 1 and 5 times 65. 5 times 60 is 300, and 5 times 5 is 25. So this is going to be $325. 
on the laptop. In the second part, which is also still found on page number seven, we're multiplying with our mixed numbers. Here we are going to skip questions two and three and five and six. So we're going to just kind of do a couple examples here and kind of move on. So I need to first change to improper fractions. Three times two is six plus two is eight thirds. And this is going to become 41 tenths. I'm going to reduce with common factors of two. So that'll become a four, that'll become a five. And four times 41 is going to be 164. And three times five is going to be 15. In number four, eight times two is 16 plus three is 19 eighths. Two and a half is going to become five halves. And unfortunately, there's nothing that I can do to reduce. So 19 times five is 95 and eight times two is 16. Question seven, one and a half is gonna be three halves. Three times one is three, plus two is five thirds. My threes will cancel out and I get five halves as my final answer here. Question number eight then, four times five, 21 fourths, and seven times one, 10 sevenths. And I'm going to reduce with the 7 and the 21. And the 4 and the 10 have common factors of 2. So 3 times 5 is 15. 2 times 1 is 2. Question number 9, I have a negative times a negative. So doing my sign analysis, this is going to give me a positive answer. So I can actually just drop the signs or I can keep them. Um, I'll write them out with the signs there. So we get negative 21 fourths times negative 10 sevenths. Reduce reduce. These are going to divide by 7. 3 times 5 is 15. 2 times 1 is 2. So I get 15 halves here. And finally, question number 10 on this page. Ella made 38 and a half, ounce, 38 and a half ounces of mocha ice cream. If she made 1 and 3 sevenths times as much pineapple sundae ice cream as she did mocha, how many ounces of pineapple sundae ice cream did she make? So she made this many times what her mocha was. So we're going to be doing one and three sevenths times 38 and a half for the ice cream here. Seven times one plus three. Two times 38 plus one. And we're going to go ahead and reduce here. The seven and the 77 are both divisible by seven. The two and the 10 are both divisible by two. 5 times 11 is 55 over 1, which is going to be 55 ounces of the pineapple sundae ice cream. And that is the end of your 2.4 practice that you have.